I didn't tell you about how, how they say we're so worried about destroying the planet when the planet will be fine. It's us that are going to be eliminated. We're just phrasing it wrong. Um, we act like the world will be destroyed, but they said the only way this planet will ever be destroyed is a planet-to-planet -planet collision. And that is very rare, some stuff like that. And uh, the planet jumping was cool because this is like a transplant planet where, like, we have so many places for so many species to survive on this planet. We have, if you want to live 5,000 5,000 uh, feet underwater, we got that for you. If you can live in, if you have to live in frozen territory, we got that for you. If, if you're a, a, a bacteria that needs to live in the swampiest, most uninhabitable place, we got that for you. From dolphins to monkeys to humans, you know, this, this may not be our original planet. This is just somewhere where we can survive on different environments. And ours has to be above Earth. Sure, maybe. Do you think that that's while we evolved? Do you think maybe, because I've heard um, kind of talk on, um, you know, uh, a harvest, uh, is, is, I guess. Where, where am I going with this? So, um, so sort of maybe a potential harvest or consciousness evolution, and then they, and then they move us on to our next planet. Is there anything uh, that that's bringing Good things like you? that. Yeah, it could be things like that. It could be like a whole little process, like, uh, you know, maybe we have another planet waiting for us to be uh, uh, inhabitable, just like we weren't able to live here on when dinosaurs were here. Maybe there's another planet just where they're just waiting, but it's going to take 40 million years, and their goal now is to just make sure we're okay for 40 million years, and that's not an easy task, being we're little individuals that want to kill everything. So it's like... Okay. That's how I look at it. Well, you know, I see kind of uh, different kinds of people in the world, too. I don't think that, you know, I think that by generalizing uh, every single human as sort of this um, warmongering or that uh, the, the orneriness that we observe and deal with, even on an individual level, the wickedness that we deal with uh, between even as locally as a neighbor and as, uh, as far away as a federal government and international policy, you know, that's not everybody. I believe that actually that's, that's kind of a minority in my opinion in one way or another. I don't right. know how big that minority is or, you know, is it 2% or is it 49%, but I think it's a minority or at least it's coming up on being a minority is another uh, uh, idea that I've heard that uh, we're moving into an instance where there's more positive energy in the world rather than negative is the significance of 2012. So, you know, these are all theories, Ricky, and I'm just regurgitating them just to see what it excites in you. Regardless what you say, regardless what you say, we're still not one. You know, and that's what we got to be. Okay, so you're saying we're not one yet, but you do believe that the oneness is kind of the fundamental uh, that we need to uh, get to. Maybe we get to it in 2012. Maybe that's what. What? Maybe that's the whole evolution uh, or, kind of thing that's coming up. Or, I really like. Or I'm sorry. Or maybe we get to it after we're extinct and they start us over again. You never know. You know, there, there might be a reason for the cycle. Maybe we continue to get older. Um, that's another interesting topic that came up is that they, they are a much older species. They're not more smart or more intelligent, but they're just a much older race that's had more time to maybe evolve to this. I wonder if they've been through extinction and, and had maybe a, a, some sort of an older species that helped to take care of them in their infancy like we are. Maybe that's what's compelled them uh, to move on and doing what they're doing. That, that's one thing about the universe and life and stuff is it all seems to be real cyclical to me. Even though it runs in a in a timeline, it's almost like it's not a straight line. You know, I, I don't know how else to put it. That's kind of abstract. I, I think it's I think it's their home. What makes them live so long? Obviously, where they're at isn't killing them. You know, we keep dying after a few thousand years, a million years, whatever. I think wherever they're at is perfect for them. Where we're at isn't perfect for us. Well, or else like, we would know, be, we be living for we were introduced into an island, if we were introduced into a, a yeah. layover area, something that we're foreign to, uh, you know, but yeah. not to adapt to this, then I think that we all can relate to that feeling, actually. Yeah, you know, anybody. You, uh, you, you hit, you hit the, 
you hit the, how do they say, the hammer on the nail when you said, this is a layover. This is somewhere where we have to deal with right now. And, and right now we are actually the most important humans to ever walk this planet. Wow. The ones who are alive right now. And it's, uh, it's very important that we survive. Well, these are crazy, wicked, turbulent, but also, you know, there's another extreme end to that always whenever it exists on the earth. I think that's ex there's an extreme love that exists here and things like that. You know, but we are in this nonetheless confusing is what I will boil it down to, absolutely confusing time. We have people committing, who commit suicide. We have people who, who just go literally crazy uh, getting into these thoughts and areas. Um, you know, when not prepared to do so or something like that. What I'm getting at is we're here and it's crazy and we feel like, oh man, uh, we're here, it's easy to get depressed and things like that. These are all human elements while we're here on this earth that we've observed and even learn to deal with and help to coach each other through by creating the study of psychology or what have you, you know, whether you think that's legitimate or, or should be, you know, et cetera. Um, but uh, um, so we almost... Um, um, or what was I getting at? That we have this crazy, crazy time that we're that we're in. But I'll tell you, it's one of the most exciting times. It's one of the most uh, 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 um, changing times to, uh, to be a part right. of. I remember being in high school, and I was I was uh, you know young at the time, eight, eight teens when I got out of high school. So senior in high school, junior in high school. You know, I remember just uh, studying like uh, movements throughout history and, and government class and things like that. And I remember thinking this was pre. 9-11, or not, not pre-9-11 my junior year, but maybe before that. I should say when I was a freshman in high school, that was pre-9-11. Um, so uh, I always I was feeling that the world was bland and flat and like nothing was happening around me and uh, everything's under control by this government structure and, and, you know, where's my cause? I couldn't find where I fit in because it was so bland. Um, you know, uh, now I feel like uh, there's a movement all around us, and no matter where you step, you can't get outside of the movement, whether it's to further control us and make us safer or, or to further free ourselves, you know, and, uh, on the other end of that, you know, and, and get away from that. So it's just, it's, it's wild, crazy, volatile times where I, I feel extremely special to be here, and I've said this ever since I was young, and even I'll say it today on the microphone, you know, even though it's a paranormal show, I'd say it on a normal show, a, poli a politics show. Um, I believe I'm here to see something great. I believe that we all uh, kind of these are these are fundamental these are fundamental uh, um, things that have been instilled into us. Whether it's the upcoming myth of 2012 or or what have you, and we went through uh, the year 2000 with the with the big scare of of the computers. You know, so we 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 felt it before. We feel it now. And in, in, in 100 times uh, what Y2K was or something like that. I don't know. You just hit what? on something for me, Rick. It's it's important. It's special. I'm I'm here to see something, man. It I'm is. here to be a part of something. It is. And the thing is, like I said, we are what we are going to see is the most. They're going to be talking about for thousands and thousands of years. We are the most important at, at up to this time. And um, if we can just get over losing when you lose a child, or when you lose your mom, or when you lose your aunt, all those human obstacles. And after that's all said and done, and you sit back and realize what you witnessed, it's uh, it's going to be worth it. I mean, just yeah. as being a human, whether if you're going to see the end of the human humans forever, or you get to see the brand new beginning of humans, we are going to see something. And if we can get over the obstacles, we'll be all right. Absolutely. Well, I even feel like, you know, if we can't get over the obstacles, we're going to be all right. I really like the stuff that you had to say. This is a whole other show. Just to note, we're down to 10 minutes here, Ricky. Two hours is literally flowing right before my eyes. I love what we did here. Um, this is my first go at this kind of a structure of a show and, and whatnot. I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed this, Ricky. Thank you very much, man. I don't know if we got anybody in the chat room or not, but uh, I will repost it, and I will get people listening, and I can guarantee you everything will be all right. Um, and it, to me, it doesn't matter if anybody listens because it's uh, you can go back to it. And we can send. I can just have people come back and listen to it. I promise they will hear it. I got yeah. thousands of people who just wait for me to do anything, and I haven't done videos in a year or so. So this will be something that a lot of people will be interested in hearing. 
we we just pulled the cork out of the bottle too like you were saying there's there's a lot of and actually this is one thing i want to point out too is there's a lot of details that haven't been included this that i gave you guys was a synopsis of i believe is it like your first four or five youtubes that you have that really gives the overview of your abduction you do a few after 